A young girl could not have chartered a life so different and unique. Kruti Parekh, one of India's youngest magicians, plays many roles. She's an IT engineer, philanthropist, environmentalist, and corporate trainer, all rolled into one. The country's first test tube baby, Kruti has transformed lives with her magic. She also supports the Sharda Mandir High School in Mumbai, which helps over 1,000 slum children. Prerit tells you the story of a young girl who believes that there's much more that can be achieved out of life with talent, perseverance, and vision. Thank you, Kruti, for being with us on the show today. Thank you. You've done 3,000 shows. You started learning magic at the age of five. How tough is it being a young female magician? Oh, uh, well, um, I don't think it's really tough being a young and female magician because you're not in the lot, you're different. And, uh, but it's very difficult because I've really seen initial days which um, have been very, very difficult from the very thing of learning magic to performance to seeing, you know, uh, the showbiz is a different line and it's a very difficult line. So trying to uh, make your mark there, uh, trying to think creative, um, and I did all this with my education. So I'm an IT engineer, so it was not just doing magic and no, nothing else. Uh, I did everything together. So I think um, magic has played a big role in my life because it taught me how to do magic in my own life also. For people who have a passion for magic, will you suggest they choose it as a full-time profession? Uh, yes, I would suggest uh, people who have a passion for magic that they should take it up as a full-time profession. I, am, I also uh, am a qualified engineer, but I chose magic over engineering because I think there is much more scope potential in magic. And yes, I think uh, I own as good as my other colleagues. Where can they train? Are there specialized institutes? No, there are no specialized uh, institutes in India. Uh, but I have started my own magic institute. It's called Kruti's Magic Academy. Uh, along with that, I've also started an official course on magic at the Mumbai University. So, well, if you want to learn magic, you know where to head. Is it possible to make money through this? Yes, you can make a lot of money through magic at the end of the day. Uh, because, as I say, magic is means unique. Uh, magic is something you might meet a lot of people uh, who, you know, so for example, let's take a group of people. Uh, you would say, okay, how many dancers in the group? You'll have a lot of people put up their hand. Say, how many singers in the group? You'll have a lot of people put up their hand. But if you say, how many magicians in the group? You might have just one. And that's what you are. So you have to be, uh, it's a very unique line. So you have more opportunities. So imagine one magician in a crowd of, say, 2,000 people. You can yourself um, know and judge the possibility of work you can get and how much money you can earn. Kruti, you're an engineer. Do you see a correlation between magic and engineering? Yes, uh, because uh, magic and science are really correlated. They say magic yesterday is science today, and magic today will be science tomorrow. Uh, because if you take an example, very, 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 uh, very, very. thank you. Uh, if you take an example, uh, people considered impossible to fly, but today I think we all know we have airplanes and we fly in airplanes. Uh, they still, I think, haven't come up, or they're really working on the feat of flying individually. I think magicians already do that. So magicians actually, I would say, is um, lay out a trademark or lay out a benchmark rather for scientists to say, hey, I did this, follow it. You've had a lot of corporate training sessions. You have trained corporates such as Hindustan Unilever, Deutsche Bank, Spice. What is the biggest challenge corporates face according to you? And how are you able to address them through these various corporate training sessions? Uh, well, I train them on uh, mind and the power of the mind. I have an entire session on a workshop called Mind, Power and Beyond. And uh, this is what I train all my clients on. And it's about how to get rid of your stress, problems, etc. And it's, about, it's a very practical oriented approach. Beyond the Threshold of the Mind is a book which is written by you. Tell us a little bit more about it. Well, uh, that's exactly what I do. I uh, motivate people and I let them know how to go beyond the threshold of their minds. Now, our minds are such, um, such objects, I would say, or such parts of our body which motivate us, which drive us, and they are the same parts which just you know, pull us back. So how to first have a threshold of it 
is what our minds naturally create. This, I can only go till this particular level or I can only do this. I can't do anything beyond that. And that's the can't barrier or the threshold that our minds create for ourselves. But what I do through my sessions, workshops and my book is allow people to go beyond this. And it could be any field. It could be a student or it could be a corporate. I think they all face such kind of challenges at any level in their work field uh, or their work career that they now need to go beyond. They have to always keep growing. And that's what my mind sessions do. And it's for the intelligent because you work with the mind. Uh, I, I strongly believe that if only hard work was the way to success, then a lot of people on the road who just carry heavy loads would have been billionaires. But I think along with hard work, you also need smart work. And that's what your mind does. Promos of, of films with magic. Been like for something like Big And do you yeah. believe that TV and cinema today have become so powerful that you know they you have to have magic shows on that platform to appeal to a wider audience? Well, I would say that today, uh, any means of marketing or reaching out to people uh, through media in terms of television and movies is very good because it's a broadcasting medium. So at one given point of time, you're reaching out to thousands and crores of people. So I think it's a very nice medium to reach out to a larger audience. Uh, but I think um, I'm balancing both. It's not only for uh, TV medium or movies. It's also for um, the other shows which I do. But of course, it's much easier because you're at one place, you're shooting uh, in one studio, and you're reaching out to thousands crores of people. So I think that is something which is very nice. And I think other magicians should also look forward to this medium. Is it easy to give away what you make for a cause very dear to your heart? Well, a lot of people do feel that, you know, it's very difficult and they, a, lot, a lot of times they ask me a question, do you give everything that you earn? But yes, um, I strongly believe in the cause of giving and I, I surely believe in the fact that whatever you do comes back to you. Magic at weddings, that's the latest trend. How do you do this differently? Uh, what we recently did is there was a Rajasthani wedding uh, where we had the Gudda and the Guddi or the Katputlis that we call. So the Katputlis magically appeared on stage and then I magically converted the Gudda, that is the small male puppet, into the Dulha, that is the bridegroom, and the Dulhan into the bride. So uh, the, the Guddi into the bride. So that's what I did with them and then they come up and the guy is doing the magic for the girl. So he snaps his fingers and a big bouquet of flowers appears. He takes the flowers, gives it to the girl. Then the magically the har, the, the wedding, what do you call it? Flower garlands, yeah. the garlands. Magical garlands, they come flying in the air. Any scary moments at the shows you've performed all along? Uh, what happened was that there's an act called the Houdini Box, where uh, it was named after the legendary Houdini. I was locked up in a box, so I'm first handcuffed. Then I'm put into a bag. That bag is chained and that's lifted up and put into a box, which is then locked. And I'm supposed to escape from that. Now what happened is uh, I had a new assistant and for the show he decided that he should make my prop look very good. So he took the paintbrush in his hand and he painted the entire box. Now what happened is in that process, he happened to even paint the, the secret magical door. So what happened was that he uh, painted that and it was just not opening. So when I was trying to open that, uh, that door during the course of my magic, what happened was it just didn't open and I was stuffed inside the bag and the box without knowing if I would really come out of it or not. And those moments were the most dof difficult moments of my life, I would say till now, because I was battling between life and death. You're a magician. How would you differentiate between magic and superstition? What I would say as a magician, what I do is magic is very scientific. I've said that before and I say that again. It's very scientific. There is scientific principles used of physics, chemistry, mathematics, etc. Being an engineer, I could explain that in a, in a much better way as magic is used as a scientific formula. But it's shown to you in such a way that your logic is unable to explain. And that's why they say, where logic fails, magic starts. Kruti, you've achieved a lot at a very, very young age. You're an inspiration for a lot of people. Who is your inspiration and why? Aap kisse hain? 
Um, actually, I, uh, I'm inspired by a lot of people uh, who create magic in their own lives and for the lives of people. There is no, not one person that I feel that, yes, this person is my inspiration or something. Uh, th there are people in different fields. Because I work on so many different fields, there are lots of people who I learn from. And I personally feel that every single person that I meet, um, they inspire me. Because they have created magic in their own little way in their lives and the lives of people around them. So I kind of get inspired with, by a lot of people. So, I mean, I don't have really one idol, but if you want to um, want me to say one name, uh, this is a name, uh, I will say, uh, has given me a lot of energy and a lot of inspiration and motivation to work on a social cause and to work for people is Mother Teresa. Thank you, Kruti, so much for sharing your magical story with us today. Thank you. Thanks.